that was it. That was the bite that counted. things that was so surreal right there. I think the mouse is really starting to take effect now.
cane brick rattlesnake. Uh, it's about a month old. I wanted to see how big of a mouse it could eat. to this music. So amazing how their jaws unhinge to fit this animal in his mouth. The mouse is like actually still moving, having some type of paralysis because of the venom. But the snake has just about have the entire mouse's head inside of its mouth. Practically alive, you can say. Once he consumes this mouse, it'll be good for another two, three weeks. He's eating this mouse alive. This sucker is no joke. fit that whole mouse in his body. You see the mouse is still moving, having some types of paralysis because of the venom. Uh, this venom uh, is a neurotoxin which makes the blood coagulate, making it thick and doesn't pump thoroughly and then it breaks down the eternal tissue inside your body start having bleeding and causes muscle damaging and that's how the venom on this snake works um, from the time that snake bit that mouse and all it took was one strike that was it I think this is uh, one of the harder parts. It's trying to go past the shoulder, and I could just see the leg hanging out on the opposite side. So I guess like the shoulder and the head would be the widest width of this mouse. I hope he makes it. I don't think he's going to regurgitate it. to show you how tenacious this creature is. I'm like watching this snake eat and it is not even slow in its row that I'm here watching it. It does not care that I am here watching it. This snake wants to eat, it wants to live. No matter what's going on around it, 
It has a will to survive. And right now, about half of the mouse is consumed um, in the snake's mouth. Something to watch these suckers eat. He's really trying hard. But he's got half the mouse in his mouth. And he's still trekking. I think he's starting to maneuver his body, I guess, to make a better digestive track to consume his food. Um, that's pretty intense. I do have another mouse uh, ready for my ball python. So we're going to give this a break right here for now and then we're going to transfer over to the other uh, reptile tank here. Um, this is where we have a ball python kind of just hanging out. Look at the beautiful colors. We're going to put this mouse in there and the ball python is not as much as a predator, predatory animal as the rattlesnake, but uh, we will see what it does. Put it right here. Oh, I dropped the mouse, but maybe if I put this, the mouse in front of the snake, maybe it will strike and and wrap it in its coils. Look at that. Look at that. No hesitation. Totally caught that mouse and wrapped around him. Yeah. Yeah, these animals are hungry. They want to eat. Uh, Just to give a different look at what's going on there. Make sure I put these lids back on here. I don't want these suckers getting out when I'm not home. Okay. This snake is like actually squeezing the life out of this mouse. Um. That's pretty intense. Uh, the mouse is actually secreting uh, urine and feces because of the pressure uh, the snake is putting around it. I can't believe how fast that snake just took hold of that mouse, but uh, that's pretty amazing. Going back over here to the cane break rattlesnake. Um, and as you can see, this mouse is just about all the way consumed. Let's see if I can get a better look in there, but yeah. That mouse is just about consumed totally by that cambric rattlesnake. Make sure I keep these lids fast and tight on here. I don't want to wake up with no surprises. I'm missing a snake. First thing I do in the morning when I wake up is I come and I look in these tanks and make sure these snakes are in here. But you can see that uh, cam break just totally consumed that mouse. No matter how big it was, it made its mouth uh, conform to fit over that uh, mouse. Yeah, look at the, the pattern on this snake. It's wicked cool. And uh, you can kind of imagine if you were out 
and about, you would definitely not see this snake until the last minute if you were to come up on some loose foliage. So, this snake is a native to Georgia. You do have to be careful where you walk. You never know where these suckers are lurking. Uh, you just never know. He swallowed that whole mouse. That mouse is pretty freaking big. Uh, maybe you'll get a chance to see him adjust his jaws and you can see his fangs on both sides of his mouth once he goes to adjust his jaws. Usually that's what they do after they eat. But this is a cane break rattlesnake. Highly venomous. Not your average household uh, pets. And just to bring you over here and bring you up to date what's going on over here. Um, this ball python has already started the process of eating this mouse. I mean, it hasn't even been like, I don't know, five minutes. But uh, I guess all the life has been squeezed out because he is wrapping his head around it. He's got the mouse in his head eating it right now. Cambridge just trying to readjust his jaws there. Let's see if we can get another footage of that. Let's see if he does it again. Wow. That's a pretty mean looking snake. Looks like he still may be hungry for more. I wonder if I put another one in there if he would eat it. Beautiful. That's what I was waiting for. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Classic. That was classic. Now, being that my hand is so close to the tank, this snake is like looking at my hand like it's more food. Yeah, he's like coming towards the tank. Thinking that my hand is food. Uh, you know, these snakes are pit vipers. They pick up on heat and movement. They have very good eyesight, very good sense of smell. Um, that's what helps them to locate and target their prey uh, most effectively. Being that they are ground serpents and low to the ground, they have to have a heightened sense of awareness to their other senses like sight and taste. Um, you know, God created these creatures and they all have their special talents and skills. Now, if you want to see something pretty freaking amazing, check out this ball python hanging out, consuming this snake this worm, um, pardon me, this mouse, like freestyling. He's totally consuming the mouse from an inverted position. Uh, notice how his neck is uh, 
expanding and forcing the mouth down his throat. I'm just like so thrilled with this. I can't believe this is going on in my kitchen. Once again, I do not own the rights to this music. Oh, that's so super cool. are not scared right now they are not shy some animals are like oh I'm not gonna eat because you're watching me I'm not hungry because you're looking at me go away no as soon as these creatures seen food in front of their face they were on it I can't believe the lightning speed that this ball python had to constrict that mouse when I was just holding it by its tail it totally just got buck wild and just did what it would naturally do, do in its own uh, environment. It's so amazing. I see little dice there. So the snake is probably going to camp out. Um. I gotta get this one up to size. This is a Western Diamondback Sidewinder. He's a little small, so he's not eating mice yet. I've been feeding him lizards. But look at that. How cool is that? This mouse is like almost totally consumed. We've been recording for 23, min 23 minutes between the two snakes eating. Wow. So, I definitely won't be handling this ball python for about, you know, three or four days. Let it consume his food, but I like to take him out and just kind of hold him when I'm watching TV. He's kind of cool. Um, the rattlesnake. I do nothing but watch them behind the glass, and that's all that I'm gonna do. Um, just watch them, they're just so amazing. And you can see this stuff on TV and stuff, and imagine what it's like to be there through the photographer's eyes. But when you have it in your house, in your own kitchen, and you're able to see this stuff and wake up, I tell you, there's no uh, event equal to it seen it firsthand and being part of the process this moment happening this is totally amazing look at the colors on this ball python it's so freaking cool so freaking cool and you can see he's just about got that mouse totally consumed um, took him maybe 10 or 12 minutes between shooting between the, the ball python and the cane break rattlesnake. Uh, super cool. Super cool. Uh, the pet stores don't sell pinkies is probably what this uh, little fella right here would be eating. Uh, he's not large enough to eat mice yet. But uh, a little sidewinder. I've been feeding him lizards. I've been lucky enough to catch a couple of gnolls. I caught a skink, and uh, that's what I've been feeding him. So, fortunate enough, that's what it's been able to eat. But yeah, we got about 25 minutes of footage here. I'm going to uh, cut this short. Look at the freaking colors on this ball python. It's so beautiful. I just had to have it because it's just so unique. It says so much about, you know, genetics and breeding, selective breeding. So, so cool. Well, that's all I have. I hope that you enjoyed uh, my little wild kingdom in my kitchen. I can't break it. It's a wicked sucker, man. 
Yeah, so that's what it is, you know. Um, got Wild Kingdom here in the kitchen. Hope you like the show. Share it and like if you do. Later.